As previously predicted, Jeff Bezos' new venture after his departure from Amazon looks to be the quickly expanding field of longevity. More precisely, editing someone's genes through CRISPR in a way, so that aging is either stopped completely or even reversed. Jeff Bezos isn't even the only billionaire interested in potentially living forever and starting ventures in hopes of making that happen, with people like Peter Thiel or Vitalik Buterin investing hundreds of millions in different longevity startups. But the difference between Jeff and them is both the huge amount of capital he is investing, the very unique approach he's taking and the fact that he has hired some of the biggest talents in the industry. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the ins and outs of the Amazon's founder new company, what their unchiyu and very promising approach to curing aging is, and finally, why many people inside and outside of the scientific community are worried about an increasing amount of the ultra-rich getting into the field of longevity. In October of last year, a huge gathering of scientists traveled to Yuri Milner's super mansion and gathered in the Properties Theater for the greatest two-day scientific conference of 2020. Others participated by teleconference. The subject is how biotechnology can be utilized to make humans younger. Milner is a Russian-born entrepreneur who earned a fortune on Facebook and Mail.ru before launching the flashy black tie breakthrough prizes which reward $3 million to exceptional physicists, biologists, and mathematicians each year. Milner's excitement for science, on the other hand, was taking a provocative and particular new turn. As the scientific sessions proceeded, specialists took the stage to discuss extreme attempts to rejuvenate animals. According to sources acquainted with the intentions, the encounter has resulted in the establishment of Altos Labs, an ambitious new anti-aging firm. Altos is working on biological reprogramming technology, a method of rejuvenating cells in the lab that some experts believe may be expanded to regenerate entire animal bodies, eventually extending human life. The new company, which was founded in the United States and the United Kingdom earlier this year, plans to establish several institutes in places such as the Bay Area, the United Kingdom, and Japan and is recruiting a large cadre of university scientists with big salaries and the promise of unrestricted blue-sky research on how cells age and how to reverse that process. According to several persons informed by the organization, its investors include Jeff Bezos, the world's richest person, who stood down as CEO of Amazon in July and then risked his life by leaping into a rocket capsule to reach outer space a few weeks later. Milner and his wife Julia have invested in Altos through a foundation. Is this scientist finally on the verge of discovering the fountain of youth? Editing the epigenome, which controls the expression of our genes, may be the elixir of life. Altos will undoubtedly be compared to Calico Labs, a longevity business founded by Google co-founder Larry Page in 2013. Calico has attracted top scientists and provided them with substantial budgets, though it has been questioned if the Google spin-off has made any progress. Calico has also established a reprogramming lab, with its first preprint released this year. Among those expected to join Altos is Juan Carlos Izpiza Belmonte, a Spanish biologist at the Salk Institute in La Jolla, California, who is well known for his work combining human and monkey embryos and has projected that human lifespans may be extended by 50 years. Steve Horvath, a UCLA professor and the creator of a biological clock, that can precisely monitor human aging, will also be there. Shinya Yamanaka, who won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2012 for discovering reprogramming, would be an unpaid senior scientist and head the company's scientific advisory board. Yamanaka's groundbreaking finding was that by adding just four proteins, now known as Yamanaka factors, cells may be trained to return to a primitive state with embryonic stem cell characteristics. By 2016, the team has applied these variables to complete living mice, achieving evidence of age reversal and led him to coin the phrase, reprogramming, as a potential life elixir. While the results of such mice studies were tantalizing, they were also terrifying. Depending on how much reprogramming happened, some animals acquired unsightly embryonic tumors known as teratomas, while others exhibited indications of younger tissues. Although there are many hurdles to overcome, there is huge potential. It has been stated that young people want to be rich, while rich people want to be youthful. This is a conundrum that individuals like Milner, 59, and Bezos, 57, may be painfully aware of. 
Bezos is now the world's richest person, according to Forbes, with a net worth of about $200 billion. Milner's fortune is believed to be $4.8 billion. According to people acquainted with Alto's origins, Milner's interest in reprogramming was initially altruistic. Following the meeting at his house, Milner's nonprofit, the Milky Way Research Foundation, granted three-year grants of $1 million per year to various longevity researchers. Yamanaka and Jennifer Doudna, who won a breakthrough prize in 2015 and a Nobel Prize in 2020 for their co-discovery of CRISPR genome editing, were on the advisory group that reviewed the applications. However, in 2021, a new proposal arose to accelerate the study by transforming the notion into a well-funded business known as Altos. That initiative was led by Richard Klausner, a former chief of the National Cancer Institute who is now an entrepreneur. Klausner, who previously worked with Juno Therapeutics and Grail, a cancer testing business, is recognized for coordinating huge and profitable financial wagers on emerging biotechnologies. A number of businesses, including Life Biosciences, Turn Biotechnologies, Ajax Therapeutics, and Shift Bioscience in the United Kingdom, are exploring reprogramming technology, however their efforts have not yet resulted in any therapies tested on humans in clinical trials. Investors are raising hundreds of millions of dollars to invest in reprogramming, which is especially focused at regenerating portions or the whole human body. One of the top experts in the subject of longevity research, David Sinclair, described the field as nascent, but believes it has special promise. What else can you do to reverse the aging process of the body? In his lab, researchers are ticking off the key organs and tissues, such as skin, muscle, and brain, to discover which may be rejuvenated. Sinclair claims he is not active with Altos, although he did speak at the 2020 conference and apply for a Milky Way prize. Altos hasn't made an official announcement yet, but the company was incorporated in Delaware this year, and a securities disclosure filed in California in June indicates it has raised at least $270 million, according to Will Gornall, a business school professor at the University of British Columbia who reviewed the document. In addition to Bezos and Milner, the business may be backed by other affluent tech leaders and venture capitalists. Altos also hired Peter Walter, whose laboratory at the University of California, San Francisco, is responsible for a chemical that has extraordinary effects on memory. Wolf Rake, a reprogramming specialist who recently quit as director of the Babraham Institute in the UK after the center announced he was accepting a job with another research organization, which is now thought to be Altos, will also be joining. Altos would first finance researchers with no imminent expectation of goods or income. According to one person informed by Klausner and Milner, the company's initial output will be outstanding science. Altos is enticing university professors with sports star salaries of $1 million or more per year, plus ownership and the independence from the burden of applying for subsidies. Manuel Serrano of the Institute for Research in Biomedicine in Barcelona acknowledged receiving a job offer from Altos, saying the business would pay him 5 to 10 times what he currently earns. Any cure for a major aging illness might be worth billions, but Altos isn't expecting to make money right away. The goal is to comprehend renewal. I would say that the notion of generating income in the future exists, but it is not the primary aim. Serrano was one of the first scientists to genetically modify mice to generate Yamanaka factors in 2013. As their cells returned to an embryonic stage, they all developed tumors. Nonetheless, the findings suggested that time might be reversed within a live mammal. You introduce the variables, and they work their magic. Even if it is not understood, it is extremely simple empirically. The big challenge now is how to customize reprogramming to determine if it can safely renew animals without killing them, and whether the procedure can be done using regular medicines rather than genetic engineering. Yamanaka factors, in my opinion, are unsuitable for clinical application. They entail the insertion of genes, some of which are cancer-causing. This is difficult to get past the regulatory authorities filters. According to some experts, government financing agencies are unable to invest in anti-aging treatments rapidly enough. If you notice anything in the distance that appears to be a massive pile of riches, you should flee immediately. Jensen said he will give out $20 million in quick turnaround impetus awards this year to speed up research using donor funding. 
Some academics wonder if reprogramming is a technique worth hundreds of millions of dollars in commercial investment. Alejandro Ocampo, a former researcher in Ispiza Belmonte's Salk Lab and now a professor at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland, is doubtful that reprogramming technology will be ready for use in medicine anytime soon. Ocampo is also concerned that there is too much money and too many businesses attempting to enter the research field. I believe it is moving too quickly. I'm not sure if we should have five to eight reprogramming businesses, that appears to be too fast, he says. How many articles have been published on in vivo reprogramming? It is the same as the number of businesses. When administered to individual cells, however, the method has an undeniable, reproducible impact in laboratory studies. In vitro, a cell from an 80-year-old can be used to reverse the aging by 40 years. There is no other technology capable of doing so. Furthermore, reprogramming is acknowledged as a critical process that occurs spontaneously when a fertilized egg develops into an embryo and, nine months later, results in a healthy kid. The parent's DNA is cleansed, regenerated, and restarted in some way. After trillions of newborn animals have been created over a billion years, Ocampo believes it is reasonable to conclude that reprogramming is one of the most replicated experiments. Altos will also be collaborating with a related technique for determining the age of a cell or a person. Horvath pioneered the biological clock approach, which includes measuring the epigenetic markings on genes. These molecular characteristics activate and deactivate genes, but their pattern becomes disordered as humans age. A biomarker of aging of this type would be an essential method to assess the efficacy of any longevity or age reversal medication that is produced. A medical research demonstrating life extension would be impossible to do since it would take too long, but a biomarker might be used instead. There is also a strong scientific connection between aging clocks and reprogramming, since reprogramming appears to work by remodeling the epigenetic marks in a cell's genome to an immature or naive state. That implies altos will be at the forefront of both causing and evaluating regeneration. Bezos is reported to have a long-standing interest in longevity research, and he previously invested in Unity Biotechnology, an anti-aging business. For months, rumors have lingered that the billionaire will make a huge splash in the field. While Technology Review was unable to establish the extent of his interest in altos, one thing is certain, aging is on his mind. Bezos included a quotation musing on mortality and decay from a book by scientist Richard Dawkins in his farewell letter to Amazon shareholders, it is necessary to work hard in order to avoid dying. Living creatures will ultimately blend with their environment and cease to exist as autonomous entities unless they actively try to prevent this. That's what happens when people pass away. Bezos meant that countries, businesses, and individuals must compete to be different, distinctive, and unique. One method may be to turn back the clock to your earlier years. So what is your opinion on billionaires possibly being in complete control of an actual cure to aging? Do you think it will be available to regular people as time goes on just like previous technologies, or do you believe that it will only stay in the hands of the ultra-rich? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.